Weather with 27 Storm Tracks, Catherine Noel. Hey, good morning, everyone. We've actually been able to see some nice blue skies today. Now, depending on where you're at, maybe some look a little bit more milky than the rest of us because some saw that smoke come in a little bit earlier. So if you were on the eastern side, I did notice you had clearing longer than the rest of us on the west. But now this is going to come in full force, a bit dense as it moves in through throughout the day. And then overnight, we do get a nice break from the smoke. But take a look. Watch warning, this will not be in place for southern Wisconsin. That's the case, at least for right now, and I think we're going to stay that way. But that's a different story to our north and off to Minnesota area because it's next to the source, right? The Canadian wildfires and wildfires out west. So this is why they do have that air quality warning. But we can back up the reasoning why we don't. We're just in a good, you know, ranking of our current air quality status. Moderate and a little unhealthy off to areas well to the northwest. So I don't think we have to worry about this, although we do have more smoke chances coming later in the week. High pressure though, this is a big weather story. It's just been dominating yesterday's weather, today's and even tomorrow's continued to move southward. So it was more so in the Minneapolis up to close to the Canada border yesterday, but it's just trending southward. It's really keeping us dry, comfortable, quiet. Showers do stay to the north, so we stay dry today. I think we do get a decent amount of sunshine. We've already seen that out there. Mostly sunny skies to start with just some clouds coming in mid to high level clouds midday, but I don't think that stops us from getting to an upper 70, even a low 80. That's possible and we stay dry Wednesday. No rain chances, but that changes on Thursday. We start to introduce showers and storms. I think Thursday night we have an isolated chance rising a bit into Friday. Still no washouts expected Saturday. We could have an isolated chance as well, but Sunday that's when our chances really increase. I think we're going to see a decent amount on Sunday. It's definitely the best shot for some showers and storms. I think scattered is what we're going for 40 to 50% chance during that time. And then next week, we also continue that trend. So it just flows into the wetter than average pattern for our precipitation outlook and our temperature outlook warmer than average. This is going to be very different than what we've experienced the past few days. Four days we've been in the 70s. Warmer than average next week, it's going to be a hot one. The humidity also will rise with that. We'll just be getting the southerly flow, this moisture. So enjoy the dry weather while we have it today. Dew points stay very comfortable. Back to the 80s, though. 81 is definitely possible, so normal today. Tomorrow, we are gradually warming 84 for a high, mostly sunny, dry. Just a tad warmer. Thursday, we kind of stall into Friday because we do get that isolated shower and storm chance. Just a quick one though, Friday we do have more isolated showers and storms, but check out Saturday, Sunday into Monday, Monday the 90s return. We have not felt a 90 for a little while now. Yeah. Showers and storms also return and kind of kick up into full force on Sunday. Yeah, that August heat is really going to come back with a vengeance. Huh? I know, because mm -hmm. like normally this is like our warmest time of the year. Yeah. Like what we're getting right now, you just can't beat it. So Exactly, so enjoy it while it's here. Yeah. Catherine, <laughs> thanks.